Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Sabro5 here, and welcome back to some more Forza Motorsport 4. And today, we're in the Zo Bagani Zonda Cinque, and oh my god, that's loud in my headset. Hang on. That's better. Okay, now we can actually drive. <laughs> I forgot how loud this car is. And actually, how loud this game is as a whole. By the way, if you hear clicking in the background, that's because I'm using the wheel, not the controller. Well, the wheel is the controller, but not the classic Xbox controller. So it's because usually because I'm either mashing the gas or brake pedals or because I'm shifting. Though I think it actually I won't be shifting in this one because I have it set automatic because I forgot to turn it on to manual. But oh well. Anyway, we're gonna get uh, back into Forza. The series is not over. I just was too lazy to record it for a while and I didn't remember exactly quite where we stopped off, but I think it was on. Uh, Nissan, so I just moved on to the next automaker that I actually felt like doing, because there was one in between which was Opal, but I didn't feel like doing Opal. So I just went straight into Zonda, and because this car is amazing. I wish I could ever be lucky enough to have one of these, because really, I think there, there's only... Well, technically there's ten of these, because there's the Roadster and then there's the Coupe, but there's only ten cars in the world that can make that insane, you know, banshee kind of whale that you guys can't hear because I don't have that turned on because it tends to overpower my voice. And the audio, from an uh, audio standpoint, it's just terrible to deal with. But anyway, this car is really loose. Which is weird because it's got a giant spoiler on the back, but I guess if you have enough power going through the back wheels, because I think this is just rear wheel drive. It's gonna squirm. And understeer, as it turns out. And now oversteer, as soon as I say it understeers. Way to go, car! Okay, hang on. This is the reason I must have a manual instead of an automatic, because I cannot dry start in a car like this on the automatic, because it just spins it. Alright, next time I have to remember to switch it to the manual. Because this is terrible. Yeah, next video we're going to be definitely on the manual, because I can't do this. Also, just because automatics bug me. Jesus, car. <laughs> It's really unpredictable. That would be the complaint I have about it. You can't tell where, whether it's going to understeer or oversteer. That's an understeer. Now it's oversteer. So many types of steer. But I think that is the end of it. That was a quick lap. So, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.